You'd never guess, but Nasty was once an outlaw. Yeah, I can believe that. Any recommendations for recruitment? Okay, so... Understood. But keep going. We need as many as we can get. Okay, that's enough recruits for now. Certainly an interesting troop. What's our next step? I need to check the inventory, take stock. Then I'll know where we stand. When I need your help again, I'll let you know. Many thanks. Wait! I'm afraid I have bad news from Tavar. No idea if it's true, but... There are rumors that Victor the Patriarch has assembled his troops, and plans to attack the fort. Damn it. I knew something like this would happen. They must be stopped. Before it's too late. Victor. I need to have a serious talk with that son of a bitch. If there's anyone who can stop him and his army, it's you. Good luck. And, I'd like to say, it's been an honor working with you. Bastard! to renegotiate this shit with Victor again. What in Ravok's name is going on outside? Why isn't Tavar burning? I've just made sure you hold up your end of the bargain. You miserable maggot. My victory against the heathens in the West was assured. How dare you stand in my way? What the living fuck is wrong with you? Don't you get what's at stake here? If we fight each other, the Skyans will chew us up and spit us out like bad tobacco. 
Your deranged ramblings are tiresome. If you have nothing sensible to say, kindly leave me to my plan. Get out of my sight! The presence is nauseating. Oh, and in case you're wondering why I don't kill you where you stand. Unfortunately, I still have a use for you and your pathetic rabble in the Bastion. Okay. Here's my report about the Six Powers' activities. Go on. There's nothing urgent on the Six Powers' to-do list at the moment. Other than the big you problem, that is. Good to know. Well, let's discuss how to proceed, then. I may have some information that you will find interesting. Relative immortality. The Skyans monopolized it, and used it to become an almost indestructible species. They even use outdated technologies from the old world against us. Structures of the long-forgotten Infinite Skies Corporation. Corroded computers from factory ruins. Even the Cleric's decommissioned AI plays a role in the war for Magalon. The Skyans' terrible plan seems to keep on moving forwards, but I know they can be killed. Their immortality is only relative. Strengthening our military and weakening theirs is quickly becoming the top item on every agenda. People are starting to understand that they can't ignore the invaders anymore. And neither can I. The infection is progressing and it's really affecting me. We'll soon see what Dawkins' advice to train my willpower was actually worth. But I'm still not sure about Dawkins himself. On one hand, it seems that he actually wants to serve humanity. On the other, he nearly led us all to destruction in the war against the Alps. What's he planning? What does he actually want to achieve? And why has my double-crossing father returned? Right now, when everything hangs in the balance, I have a difficult task ahead of me. And so many questions, which I'll learn the answers to very soon. According to reports, your father is in the northernmost reaches of Ignodon. How do you know that? I may spend most of my life in the grotto, but I'm not oblivious as to what goes on elsewhere. And now that you know where Wardek is, I have no doubt you'll find him. Anyway, I'm a busy man, and you now have business to attend to. I suggest you see to it. Oh. And don't forget, I know all about your bastion. I have no t What are you doing? I expected you to find me long ago. What took you so long? I had more important things to do than chasing a forgotten shadow from my past. Hmm, well now you're here. So, what's the plan? You gonna kill me? Not really my style. I suppose if you wanted to kill me, you would have tried a long time ago. Everything I did, I did for the good of the Alps. The hybrid made them blind and arrogant. Somebody had to do something. 
You tried to kill me. Your own son. I did, and I don't regret it. You were an Alp commander, a follower of the hybrid. You almost destroyed all humanity. You were deluded and dangerous. I had to stop you destroying one of the hybrid's most powerful opponents. If Thorald had died, the Berserkers would have died with him, and Magalan would have died with them. A whirlwind of carnage and extermination. Everything destroyed. Well, you really have some nerve, claiming to be humanity's savior. I started working for the free people against the hybrid, and you still tried to get rid of me. And look where it got you, Jax. You're working for that monster again. Dawkins still has you wrapped around his little finger, so much so that you can't even see the truth. What truth? The truth or just whatever you think you can use to get ahead? Even if I forget your crimes, I'll never forget the fact that you put my son in danger. Dex could have died out there, and it would have been your fault. There you go again, blind, walking the wrong path, and you don't even see it. Wake up, Jax. You need to see what's really going on here. The Skyans, as you call them, can be defeated. And I know how. Your son was never really in danger. Dex has such potential that even those creatures can't harm him. I saw the way he stood up to them. Don't be ridiculous. He's still a little boy. Look, if you don't trust me, well, I can understand that. But we're gonna have to forget our feud if we want to survive this. If we stick together, there's no way they can defeat us. I was at Marakor. I was there when they arrived and built their headquarters. I know their weaknesses. I know their goals. I know how to hurt them. You need me. And you're just saying that to save your own skin. Damn it. If only I knew how to convince you. Magalon is about to fall apart. But right now, there's still time to stop it. But only if you wake up and start making the right decisions. What do you want with my son? What did you do to him? We just ran into each other. Pure chance. I was watching you, and the boy has a lot of willpower, just like his father. I didn't even try to talk him out of his plan to confront the invaders. It wouldn't have worked. I thought I could protect him, if. But then, I realized he was much stronger than I had assumed. Your son is really something special. He's going to play a big role in the war against... You keep away from him. I'm warning you. And you should give him something to do. He'll never reach his full potential if his parents are always hovering over him. Trying to protect him from the world. You were at Marakor to see the first former land? I was in exile for a long time. Nobody followed me to Marakor. So, I stayed there. Up until the day the first of their ships landed there. I saw how they set up their systems. I know how the Formers work. Then tell me how the Formers work and how we can stop them. So, I'm just supposed to play my trump card without being certain that you won't just change your mind and kill me anyway. That sounds like you. But I'm not gonna let you jerk me around anymore. The question is, why should I believe your bullshit in the first place? No, Jax. The question is whether you can afford to let me take this vital information to my grave. I want proof. Give me a reason not to tear you to pieces. That's easy. You think you know everything going on in that bastion of yours? Well, think again. One of your people is trying to get in touch with your enemy as we speak. If you don't watch out, you'll have a full battalion of Skyans at your front door. Who? Well, if I tell you that, you're gonna think I'm just digging up the past again. Dawkins? 
Why would he do that? He was the one who founded the Sixth Power in the first place. Why would he stab us in the back? You wanted proof that I had information, and that I was trustworthy. So go check if what I told you is true. If it's not, you can always come back and tear me to pieces then. Or not, if I'm right. Why are you suddenly so interested in humanity? I'd have to guess that you're really more interested in making sure the Albs survive. Back then, we were in control of Magalon. And that makes it easy to judge everyone else. But the tide has turned. These days, we're the ones being hunted. The Albs and Ignadon will be the first to fall when the Skyans and Marakor start their attack. That's why we need the other factions. We have to ensure that they stay strong. That way they'll be able to fight in the final battle against the invaders. Now the same is true for your troops in the Bastion. They have to get stronger so that they can play their part against the Skyans. Do you really mean every faction? Really, we need all of them. Or we're all going to die. The Berserkers are already doing their part. They're actively fighting the Skyanids. Even those criminal outlaws in their crater cannot be allowed to fall. I've been patrolling, and I noticed that the attacks against them have been getting more intense over the past few days. You really should take a look. I think the Duke of Ateris is really going to need your help. Very good. Wonder what this place used to be. Ugh. Shit. I have it. But we need to move quickly. Uh, you have what, exactly? The location of a large sky in it. And I mean a really big one, recently mutated and waiting for us. But it'll disappear if we don't hurry. Humanity needs to come together, or we don't stand a chance of winning. Do you remember when it all began? You mean the comet? No, you idiot. I mean between us. I know I've been hard on you sometimes. But... <sighs> well, it was usually because you deserved it. Yeah, I know. How did it come to this? How did we drift so far apart? Well, we could go back to how it was. Maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go see this giant sky in it. Come on. Look at it. The noise when it changed must have been deafening. We should be careful. Looks like it's not alone. You're the combat expert, so go on ahead. Willpower, huh? What would happen if the hybrid control chip inside me actually worked? Would I become just as blinded as all the others under the delusion of the machine? Ugh. Not a pleasant thought.
disgusting beast, right? No worse than the rest of its kind. All right. Let's find the place where it underwent its transformation. You know what to do. Find the location, and I can get to work. I need a moment. That was stomach turning. This behemoth actually vomited during its transformation. <laughs> Did you find anything interesting at least? The stench is overwhelming, but yes, I did make a surprising discovery. The voices and the other peculiar vibrations emanating from Blue Elix, I sense them from this Dark Elix too. Which means... They obviously have a shared origin. No doubt about it. Well, doesn't seem that surprising. Anything else? Both the Blue and Dark Elix derivatives can unleash remarkable powers. But only through another medium, an intelligence or organism that can guide it. Without that, the voices have no direction and cancel each other out. So, something like an elemental magnet. A what? You don't know what a magnet is? No. Judging by its name, a magical artifact? Yeah, you could say that actually. The next logical step is to analyze how Dark Elix affects a truly intelligent being. It's clear it possesses greater powers than our Blue Elix. We need to see just what they are. Of course, that means examining a recently mutated human being. Do you think we can find one? We might. Surely your scouts can help with the search again. Let's hope so. I'll give them instructions and let you know as soon as I hear anything. I've just received word. My scouts believe they've found something. A group of young Sky and Agitators roaming the Ignodon hinterlands. Which just happens to be where the scouts saw people wandering a few days before. Jax, can we... can we talk? Sure. What is it? I'm worried. I just don't know if I can do this anymore. My people needed someone like me, so I took up the mantle. Accepted the responsibility. You always have. Have I? Then why do my duties weigh more on me with each passing day? I'm no longer certain I can cope with it all. And yet my people need stability. What if I can't give it to them anymore? You're the Berserker's most powerful mage. Maybe the most powerful of any faction. Who could do a better job than you? Maybe, but I can't do this alone. It'll wear me down in the end if things don't change. I need to believe in a better future than one where I spend the rest of my life sitting on the Oracle Throne. <sighs> I think I know what you mean. Have you now? And what exactly are those thoughts? We should give this another try, you know. Me and you. Don't you think? You're serious about this, aren't you? I've never been so sure of anything in my life. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that. I'd almost given up all hope, to be honest. But before we go any further, I have a few questions for you. You know, we never spoke about your time up on that mountain. What were you really doing there? I needed time to myself. But believe me, not a day went by when I didn't think of you. <laughs> then, why didn't you come back? I've told you. What, that unlikely tale of how you wanted to save the planet from annihilation? You had a curious way of doing it. You didn't even know if anything was gonna happen. We both knew enough to see all this coming. Damn it, Jax. What else could we have done? Run and hide like you always do? I did not run away. No, you just buried yourself so deeply you had only the rats for company. You have no idea how hard it's been to convince everyone how serious this threat is. But you idiots are more interested in pointless arguments with other factions than your own survival. What did you call me? Hmm. 
strange. Are you all right? Yeah, sure. Good. I'm glad to hear it. We need to talk about Dex. Yes, we do. Tagoro. Imaloka. Taga. Jax, stay with me. Try to focus. I'm worried about his future. Too many dangerous people have taken an interest in him. Ordick. Dawkins. He can't stay in the Bastion. Okay. Where would he be safe? I think we should let him decide. I'll talk to him. If you think that's best. Before you go, I just want to say... I'm... I'm worried about you. Yeah. I should really do something about these blackouts. I'll take care of them when there's time. Look, Dex, you can't stay in the Bastion. You're worried about your old mentors getting to me, aren't you? My mentors? Adam and your father. <laughs> You're one smart kid, yeah. I'm afraid they'll come after you one day if I don't keep an eye on things. They know how special you are. That's why we need to get you somewhere safe, where they'll never think to look. So it can't be in your home in Tavar, and of course it can't be out in the wild. We need some place civilized. But I won't ask her to come with us. Of course. Ador. Udorath. What are you talking about, Father? Uh, I, uh... Okay. Then I should be the one who decides where I go. That was the idea. So, what do you think? Got somewhere in mind? I need to ask you a few questions before I decide. Uh, okay. Fire away. First one. What's more important? Saving humanity, or saving your family? No one comes between me and my family. But you spend all your time away helping others. Second question. What works better, violence or diplomacy? Depends on the circumstances. Yeah, but the circumstances right now aren't normal, are they? Alright, third question. Do you think it's okay to take something away from someone? Do you know it's going to get them in big trouble? You should only take what you really need. Hmm, but that means you might take too little. And you never know when you'll get another chance. Good. Then I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to the Alps. Oh, I was afraid of that. I've always wanted to know more about where you grew up. Okay, I should go then. You'll come visit me sometime, won't you? I will. Take care of yourself, Dex. Not bad. Before you go, I just want to say... Yeah. Dex has decided where he wants to continue his education. He's chosen the Alps. Are you insane? You want to send my child to those people by himself? It was his choice. And you know how he gets once he's set on something. Asgar will be with him. He can monitor his education and protect him. But what if he gets into trouble? Dex has incredible potential. He could soon be more powerful than either of us. And you want to send him away? Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to him. Didn't he just travel halfway around the world pretty much alone? There's not a scratch on him. 
Think how much safer he'll be in a more civilized area. And again, this was his decision. I swear, Jax. If anything goes wrong, I'll kill you. I know. Is that all there is? What do you mean? I've been looking at this shit for a while now. Is that all you do all day? Or does something exciting happen every once in a while? You feel like you need a challenge? What do you think is exciting? Twisting your head off like a bottle cap would do it. Yeah, other than that. Well, something that'll make us some money. Sitting around on our asses ain't doing shit. I'm no yellow cow. Just so you know, scavenging around at the ruins or stealing from spinehounds ain't the best ways to make any money. You know damn well I do a whole lot more than that. Maybe, but there ain't much in it for me. You got a better suggestion? Yeah, I do. The Duke sent me out on Alexit procurement missions. I'm damn good at that. But you've got a different job now. That don't mean I can't pick up some extra on the side. If I'm stuck out here looking after your ass, you're gonna help me with one or two things in return. Alright, what are you thinking? So you know those traveling merchants? There's this one who stops by the edge of the crater. This one guy in particular always has a few guards with him, too. I know for a fact that he'll be there again soon, selling food supplies. And how'd you know that? I just do. That's all the info you're gonna get out of me. Okay. So there's a trader heading to the edge of the crater with a bunch of groceries. What's so lucrative about that? The Alexit he's carrying, of course. Let me get this straight. Your plan is to beat up a traitor who's coming to supply the crater and rob him. Let's call it a side job. Sounds more like debt collection to me. You get this job from the Duke? So I'm guessing this traitor has a debt with the Duke, and it's your job to get him to pay up. That about right? Yeah, and what of it? You should have just told me instead of feeding me some bullshit about side jobs. So, when you're ready, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wouldn't be my first time collecting a debt. Come on, we gotta get our asses in gear. We're running late as it is. There, I think they've already seen us. Tell you what, those guys already know what we want. They know me, and they know I report straight to the Duke. As soon as we're close, they'll know something's up. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, now you've got all the info. Come on, let's get that Alexa. Ugh, my head. This damn infection. I should train my mind before that thing happens to me. Come on, these guys ain't gonna wait around forever. Ugh. I'll show you! Damn protection. Danger! Bastards. How much Alexit were you supposed to get out of that traveling merchant anyway? The money wasn't important. That guy fucked with the Duke. He had to be taught a lesson. Well, mission accomplished. He's dead. 
make a great teacher. That's good too. One less problem to worry about. I think I finally understand what it is you do for the Duke. If you say so. I just want to make sure you won't murder me in my sleep. Nah, I'm gonna come up with something real special for you when your time comes. When what time comes? That's up to the Duke. Aren't you a peach? Hey, it's nothing personal. No, of course not. So, what's your next mission from the Duke? You'll know as soon as I get it. So go on, and do whatever it is you do. Wait, I got it. Oh, I got it. The next way to get us killed? Not exactly. Unless going up against a herd of mutants falls under that category, then probably. Want to attack mutants? Yes, but hear me out. Not just any mutants. This herd is heading right for one of the world hearts, so it's really important. So, what do you say? Let's get going. Well, it's different, I'll give you that. Okay, let's go get your mutants. <laughs> All right, that's the spirit. What did I tell you? Right there, the freak wave. That's a lot of mutants. Yep, which means a glorious victory and us returning as heroes to the fort. Does. Wow. That isn't gonna work. I know they used to be people, but they really make my stomach turn. who did this, right? Turn them into revolting, disgusting mutants? It's their fault. No, that was the Elix. Some people just don't have the mental fortitude for it. This is what taking too much Elix does to them. Still, mutants are under Alb control, aren't they? Some Alexiters have that power, but only over some of them. Like I said, revolting. Hmm. 
suppose so. Anyway, this whole saving the world heart thing isn't exactly going to help my reputation back at the fort, like, at all. If only more berserkers had heard about it. True. I doubt anyone's talking about your heroic deeds. Hey, do me a favor. Next time I come up with an awesome, cunning plan like this one, just shove me into the nearest river instead. Deal? Doesn't matter how hard you try. Things never quite seem to work out for you, do they? Yeah, maybe I need to take a step back. Just give it some serious thought. So, you giving up? Me? Never, never. Just gotta rethink my strategy, is all. All right, then. Get in touch when you've had an epiphany. You'll be the first to know.